So picture this, you're working on recording a new song and you got this part you're trying to play that's kind of tricky and the tempo is just fast enough to make it difficult. Well, with free tempo recording in Logic Pro 10.7.5 or later, you can now make that task really easy. What it does is it mutes all the tracks in the project and allows you to record without the metronome clicking away. Once you get the part recorded, you'll then be able to choose whether to adopt the newly recorded part to the project tempo or have the project tempo adapt to it. So let's take a look at how well it works and see how to use it with voiceover and the new Logic Keyboard Ninja key commands. But before that, I'd just like to welcome you back to Logic.Band. I am the Oreo Monster and this is a place full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind Logic voiceover macOS and GarageBand user. If you haven't yet, visit Logic.Band and when you land on the homepage, sign up for the mailing list so you can get a free getting started with Logic course. So right now in this project, I have drums and guitars. But if I turn on free tempo recording, it will mute everything in the project. It will not give me a click track and it'll just let me record freehand. And once I hit the space bar, it will stop the recording and it will prompt me to either have what I recorded be the new project tempo or take what I recorded and adjust it to fit whatever else is already in the project. So it will fit my new recording to the project tempo. And then we have another option where it'll just ignore everything and it won't do anything with it. It won't try to fit the project to the tempo of what you recorded, or it won't try to fit what you recorded to the project tempo. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna mute the guitar track for now. Track 21 SRC6, group. Toggle channel strip mute on. Track 24 finger style electric bass, group. All right, so now, one bar, one beat, one drums. Tip. But if I want to start free tempo recording, I'm gonna press Command Shift Space. So Command Shift Space is the newly added key command in the Logic Keyboard Ninja key commands to do free tempo recording. So if I press Command Shift Space, notice you don't hear anything, but now I can start. Now, but now I can start recording whenever I am ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So. All right, stop that recording. In dialogue, apply region tempo to project. Select it. Radio button. Free tempo recording. Choose whether to change the project tempo or region tempo, or to proceed without analyzing the tempo of the recorded region. And you see, now we have some options here. Apply region tempo to project. Select it. Radio button. We can apply the region tempo to the project, so that means it will change the project to match the tempo of what I just recorded. Apply average region tempo to project. Radio button. We can apply the average region tempo to the project, so that means it's going to average out the tempo. So like if the tempo kind of drifts a little bit, but it mostly focuses around say like 70 BPM, it'll average out the tempo to 70 BPM and then it will change the project tempo to that. Apply project tempo to region, radio button. And then apply project tempo to region. That means it will take the region I just recorded and make it match the project tempo. Don't analyze region tempo or change project tempo, radio button. And then you have don't analyze region or change project tempo. That's just gonna leave what you recorded in the state that it was in. So. Let's go ahead and let's try the first Free one. Tempo recording. Apply region tempo to project. Selected. Radio button. Apply region tempo to project. That is already selected. So let's just go ahead and hit apply at the bottom. So VO end. Apply. Def apply. Default button. Let's VO space on that. Track 24 finger style electric bass. Group. All right. And so now. 18 bars 1 beat 300. 6 bars 3 beats 229 ticks. This region starts at bar 6. And if I play from here. And you see it adjusted the project tempo down to match the tempo of what I played. All right, so I'm gonna undo that. Undo, undo. Track 24 finger style electric bass, group. One bar, one beat, one tick. This time I'm gonna record something new and then I'm going to match what I recorded to the project tempo. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command Shift Space to start free tempo recording. All 
All right. In dialog, apply, default, button. Free tempo recording. Choose whether to change the project tempo or region tempo, or to proceed without analyzing the tempo of the recorded region. All right, so this time we're going to match what we recorded to the project tempo. So let's go select that option. I'm going to view right. Apply, default, button. Let's jump back to the top of this window. Free tempo recording. Choose whether to change the project tempo, apply region tempo to project, select it, radio button. Apply average region tempo to project, radio button. Apply project tempo to region, radio button. Let's go to apply project tempo to region. Select it, apply project tempo to region, radio button. I'm going to jump to the bottom and hit apply. Apply, default, button. Tracks, group. All right, and now let's Tracks, group. see where this region starts and ends. 12 bars, 4 beats, 492 ticks. 1 bar, 2 beats, 716 ticks. All right, let's play from here. One bar, two beats, seven. And we can go ahead and edit this. Let's see where this two bars, one, three bars, four bars, one beat, one tick. Four bars, five bars, one beat, one tick. Five bars, one beat, one. You see that starts right at bar five. So let's go ahead and just uh, split that region right there. Split regions, events, play that position. And let's left arrow to select the first region. One bar, two beats, seven hundred sixteen ticks. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete. Selection that. deleted. And by the way, right there, you just notice another new Logic Pro feature. It said selection deleted when I deleted the region. So that's another new feature. Whenever you select a region and delete it, it will now say selection deleted so you know that you deleted a region. One bar, one beat, one tick. All right, so let's go to the beginning and I'm going to move that region to the beginning. Eight bars, four beats, 400, nine, one bar, one beat, one tick. Eight bars, four beats, 492 ticks. One bar, one beat, one tick. And so now we have the region starting at bar one and ending just before bar nine. So let's go ahead and play this again. <laughs> And you should also be able to quantize this as well if you want. Quantize selected region sales events. You can still transpose this. Let's take this down an octave. All right, and that is free tempo recording. So you can record something without the metronome and then decide if you want the project to adapt to the tempo of what you played, the average tempo of what you played, or have it adapt to fit the project tempo. So what do you think of free tempo recording? Is this a feature you're gonna be using in the future a lot? Let me know in the comments below. Is there something else you'd love to see me cover in a future tutorial? Let me also know that in the comments as well. If you really enjoy content like this, then go ahead and give this a like and share it with someone else that you think may get some value out of it. Don't forget to subscribe both to the YouTube channel and to the mailing list found at logic.band. That way you can get a free getting started with logic course and I can keep you updated whenever I update the logic keyboard ninja key command file like I did to take advantage of this new feature in logic. If you haven't grabbed them yet, there's also a link to that in the description. If you'd love to support what's going on here at Logic.Band and help keep the production of high value tutorials coming your way, then please consider either a one-time donation or subscribe to make an ongoing Patreon style donation. Do you want to go deeper on any of these topics as it relates to Logic Pro, VoiceOver, macOS, or GarageBand? Then book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training. Visit Logic.Band slash training. Links to all of these are in the description as well as links to supplemental tutorials like how to back up your Logic Pro project before you but like how to back up your Logic Pro project before you install the new but like how to back up your current version of Logic Pro before you install the new version. That's it for this one. As always, until next time, happy recording.